Hey, what's going on, pilots? Tricker here, and today we are in 2.7. I know you're excited, I am too. And we're gonna be talking about clouds, more specifically, how do we load the cloud presets that we just got so you can enjoy them as well. So, all we have to do is just go into the mission editor, which I just did. I chose the Persian Gulf. And on the left-hand side, there's a cloud with a clock. We can click on that, and we can change the time. So let's go ahead and change it to like 6 a.m. And preset. We click on the picture, left-click on it. We have 30 different presets available, and we can choose whichever one you like. So let's choose Scattered, and we can click OK. And you can actually change the base of the clouds right here. And let's say we don't want Scattered now. We can actually left-click on it again and choose like, hey, we want Overcast 2. And it also tells you a METAR. So there's a broken layer between 7 and 10, and it's 17 and 20. So we'll go ahead and click on that, click OK, and we'll add an airplane. So we'll click on the airplane symbol, Add this here and let's add an F-18 and I'll show you something pretty cool that they just added. Make sure it's on player and we're going to click on the payload screen. So now when you click on the payload screen we get this huge 3D view of the F-18 that we can just scroll around and look. And you can choose whatever uh, paint scheme you wish, whichever ones you have. You can just cycle through them with the arrow keys right here like I'm doing left and right. And you can choose whatever payload you wish. So I'm going to go ahead and click fly mission. And we're going to go ahead and get right into it. All right, so now we're in the mission that we just created at 6 a.m. with the overcast two clouds. And what we can do here is we can just start flying around. And if you do not like the preset that you chose, you can just quit. Go to the preset selection screen again and choose another one. You can change the base layer, uh, whatever you know altitude you wish it was at. And you can change the time. I usually like to do dawn flights when the sun's coming up. I think it looks pretty cool. And that's how you load the presets in. So if you have a mission already, you can just go ahead and load that mission and choose presets and just choose a different preset or whatever clouds you want to use. And that mission is now updated to be hosted or playing on single player. So let's go ahead and look at something cool that I just found out. And I think you'll find it's pretty cool as well. So let's take a look. All right, so here we are on the F-18 and I chose the overcast and rain preset. And the first thing that I noticed that I thought was so cool was the rain effect inside the clouds now, or under the clouds, because this sounds realistic. This is exactly what it sounds like when you're flying through clouds with a bunch of rain. And I thought this was the coolest thing ever because when I first loaded into this, I was actually blown away because I thought I was actually flying a real plane because this is exactly what it sounds like. And I was actually flying yesterday and uh, we were going through some rainstorms, and this is exactly what it sounds like. So I thought this was so cool. And uh, like I said, this is one of the overcast and rain layers that's included with the new presets. And just, uh, just take a look here, and we'll go over what happens next, which I thought was actually very interesting. So at this point I was like, hey, you know, I wonder what happens if I climb above the layer here. Is the rain effect going to stop? Is the noise going to stop? And sure enough, you can just hear it here. The rain is now getting quieter as we're getting above the layer and we're not in the rain anymore. And you can see the rain droplets are now starting to dissipate and they finally stop. And I was like, wow, like this is cool. Like, you know, I was just flying in a, you know, a rainstorm. It sounded like it was raining and I just climbed out of it and... You know, it's quiet again. You know, I'm just flying along. So that was really cool to me. And there's also some other, something else here that happens. And uh, we'll see. We'll talk about it here in just a second. I'm just flying along and enjoying the uh, scenery here 
with all the holes in the clouds and like this looks realistic right here and I was like wow this is really cool there's a big hole here in the clouds and I was like I wonder what it feels like just to go right through it and if the rain's gonna start again and sure enough you know, I drop down in here and the rain starts back up and you can see there's a lot of uh, rain right there in front of us right in the clouds I was like man this is uh this is very interesting and so we're just flying along here Just enjoying being in the clouds inside of DCS. Just checking out my wingmen right now. And I'm sure you're going to be doing this as well, but you're going to see a hole in the clouds and you're like, hey, I want to climb up straight through that. That looks cool. Let's do it. And, you know, I did the same exact thing. I couldn't lie. I was like, man, this would be pretty cool to do this. You know, just climbing through the hole, punching through the clouds like this. And burner coming over the top. And so right here, I was actually taken by surprise. I was like, I got a master caution for inlet ice. And I didn't think about it at the time, but now that looking back at it, I'm like, wow, like, did they actually implement icing conditions yet? You know, realistic icing conditions yet? And I'm not sure if they have or not, but, you know, when we're flying in the airlines, you know, if we're flying between, you know, 10 degrees Celsius and negative 40 degrees Celsius, and you're flying through visible moisture, you always put on the engine anti-ice or the wing anti-ice, whatever you have, um, depending on the ice accretion. And I was actually kind of taken by surprise. I was like, man, I'm flying through visible moisture here and I'm probably between 10 and negative 40 degrees Celsius. And I got an inlet ice master caution on one of the DDIs. And I was like, all right, I'm going to put on my anti-ice and actually see if this will go away and clear itself. And uh, sure enough, it does. So here we are just flying along, staying out of the clouds because there might be some icing conditions down there, especially with the rain. You can still says, see it says inlet ice and right there it goes away. And I was like, man, like I didn't, I, I just didn't think about it because like in real life, when you go through clouds, you're always thinking about like, hey, what's the temperature? Because, hey, do I need to turn on the anti-ice or not? And that's just something that I haven't been thinking about inside of DCS because it hasn't really been implemented correctly now if this has been implemented or it's being worked on i'm actually blown away and that was that was actually a pretty cool it might have been just a coincidence but that was a pretty cool experience if i do say so myself so i appreciate you all hanging out giving this a watch listening and i hope you enjoy 2.7 download it install it enjoy the new clowns new presets there's tons of them out there like i said there's 30 different ones out there Enjoy all the new features for the F-18, the F-16. I should be putting out some new videos here shortly. Hope you all enjoy. And I just can't wait to get in 2.7 in multiplayer and start playing on some maps that do not have clear skies every single time. Because uh, it's very rare that you fly anywhere every single day that's clear. So it's going to be interesting to have non-turning clouds like the old DCS clouds as well as multiplayer synced clouds. I think that's a huge thing. And, uh, you know, doing seed missions is actually going to be pretty interesting now. And uh, also doing bombing and stuff, you know, it's just it's just going to change everything. So I'm really excited the way that the uh, 2.7 is going. And hopefully next we get the weather implemented, not just the cloud presets, but we also get the weather. So looking forward to all the new videos coming from DCS from all you out there. I'm sure there's going to be tons of new videos from all of the users out there wanting to share their experience with the new clouds. I look forward to it. If you got something you want me to watch, make sure you, you know, paste in the comment section. Give me a like, subscribe. I would really appreciate that. It helps out the channel. Helps out anybody that's a content creator, especially for DCS World. Really appreciate it, guys. Take care. Fly safe. We'll see you on the next one.